This is that table I picked up Sunday and I took the legs off so I could haul it but the legs are on there like so but save space for right now I'm not going to mount the legs back but I'm going to put the screws back in before I lose them because I'm famous for losing screws. Darn Katie did the screaming again this morning. I have got to get my, we got a lawnmower, bought it last summer not a riding mower, it's like a push mower. And uh, you crank it and it runs for about 30 seconds and shuts down. And I don't know if it's got trash in the tank or I hope I got enough. Well, hell, I done lost a screw. Takes four per corner. I guess I could go to Lowe's and get me one the next time I'm Check my pockets, maybe still in my pockets. I was throwing them in my pockets, and I still got Sunday's clothes on. Our dryers took a dump, not in that pocket. So, right now, we're not. washing any clothes but I reckon I think it's the belt on that thing now I'm going to throw that over there throw that over there This is copper. <laughs> so, I need to get that change back in my pocket. Well, this is my, the second day my Middle grandson's been back on his new job. You know, he he quit Walmart. He quit Walmart and he went to work for a veterinarian. And he's kind of like at the front desk receptionist, I guess you call him. But um, he likes it. He loves animals. But I swear, that taking the two dollar cut, two dollar an hour cut and pay, I believe I would have toughed it out at Walmart. Oh, till I was twenty one, where he could have legitimately got that promotion to management. But, he didn't do it. Oh, uh, I think 
that I've got. I don't want to call it a sickness, but I just hate throwing any dang thing away. I come across these room deodoriders, and I guess you buy these little refills and put down in there, plug that in, and it shoots a little smell out every once in a while. I hate throwing them Oh yeah, it comes, comes out of there. And it's just, you know, uh, I see my friend Paul, by the way, I talk, he called me this morning. We was talking about stuff. And, uh, but I see him unscrewing a lot of bulbs when he finds a lamp or something and chunking the bulbs. I don't even chunk the incandescent bulbs, the old style. But these are LEDs. And of course these are only five waters, but these were in ceiling fans. And I found five or six last week and I have found five more. Now these at, at, at Publix are $3.10 a piece. And these last a long, long time. And even though these have got wet, don't mean jack nothing. To start with, these globes on these things, these are not, uh, these are not, uh, vacuum seal or anything because it's LED in there. They don't burn them filaments like an incandescent does. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you one that's broke that I'm using. I'll get a plug out here. All right, there's one of them. I got it screwed down in this thing I use here at my desk. And as you can see, the globe is broke off of it, but it still works. And I use it in this, and I'm gonna turn it on now. And there you go. Works just fine, that's a five water. But that's one of these bulbs I just showed you with the globes on, and the globe broke on this one, but it works fine. Anyway, my friends, my subs, they, when you can get these for nothing, uh, it's well worth it. I would never throw them, I hadn't seen Paul, but well, I seen Paul throw one out was incandescent, but I keep the incandescents too in case they're good. I ain't never going to have to buy light bulbs. But uh, that's almost uh, 310, 310. That, hell, that's uh, 6, 12. That's 50, right around $15 worth of bulbs. Um, but that's the skinny on these things. And them contracts, when they're trashing out a house or remodeling one, they throw all them down, uh, these things out here, and you can see where they break them and stuff. And Lord have mercy. Why? I don't know. You would think they would know now that there's trash pickers out there that would be glad to come take that stuff off their hands without them trashing them. And something else that I like is I get these globes and notice the shape. It's like a little vase. You take this thing, you tape the bottom.
and set it on something solid and you pour some epoxy resin in there to make a bottom and you got a neat little uh, neat little vase and it's, it's, it's a good yard sale item or if you're really crafty you can make a square base out of acrylic uh, uh, the epoxy and you can make a square base for that to sit down and lock into and you've got a little vase and there's all kinds of here's one that I'm going to do that way and it makes a nice little way. But lo and behold, them dadgone contractors, boy, they don't care about nothing. Of course, they don't have to. They've probably got a job making 20, 25 dollars an hour or maybe more. But, and these, this lamp here, I don't throw them away. I'll repair this up at the top. I ain't cutting the cord. I'll refinish this wood bottom. I'll seal in the cracks because this one got wet. And then sooner or later, I come across this lampshade this morning that um, uh, is in good condition to probably work on that. And then I've got a nice little lamp that works, and it's got this milk glass pieces in there that'll go in my yard sale so you know you gotta be crafty you gotta be not so quick to discount something having no value and when my next yard sale comes up uh those game controllers there, I don't know if they work or not, but they're getting thrown in the box, and they're going to be a dollar a piece, as is, so, you know, gosh, people start, quit trashing, you find trash, you go through the trouble of finding trash, and then you trash it, or some of you trash it. Anyhow, that's my skinny on the bulbs, and uh, maybe I'm too much of a hoarder. I don't know. Them's going to make some nice little vases. Sure. I got a message, an email, actually, from one of my subscribers, and... He was saying that I make that taking these fans and stuff like that apart. He said I make it sound like it's easy. Well, easy is as easy does. You know, you some of them's easy, some of them's a pain in the butt. But I'm telling you guys, you. If you go micro scrap, you need there's certain hand tools and certain little power tools that you need. You need a, a, a little a quarter inch. Uh, I call it quarter inch. It might not be a quarter. Inch, a little a little hand electric hand grinder from Harbor Freight, less than twenty dollars. Uh, you need. Uh, well, I'm going to have to show you, let me, I forget what's called a daggone thing. These ceiling fans, this guy was telling me they're hard to take apart, but they're not really, uh, I like them. Because of some of the, you know, I get copper out of them, I get brass, I get zinc, 
and I get shred. Let me get this other. Fall off there, you son of a gun. Anyway, I'm not set up out here to be doing this like this, but anyhow, uh, I just like working outside. I should be in my shop. But this piece of metal right here, a lot of people think that's aluminum, but it's not. It is zinc. And if you save a screw, save them. That's scrap. But that's zinc. But that's not what I was going to show you. What I'm going to show you. What the hell is wrong with my... To scrap, to micro scrap, you need a good set of bits. It has the Torx bit or Star bit, some of it, several different sizes of Phillips, some slotted, and also some of these Star bits or Torx are the security bits which you're going to need occasionally. Uh, and actually you need a, an extension. This is a short one. I have a couple of long ones. And I have, yeah. Uh, and you really need one of these. Preferably two. I got two. And it saves a lot of elbow grease. Uh, you need some good pliers. And I I got, I don't know what you call these, but you can see it's uh, curved or bent. That comes in handy for certain things. And several different cutters and I got several and I buy the cheap ones I don't buy I don't buy the uh, I don't go to Lowe's and buy some of that high price stuff it, it just ain't worth it I get all my hand tools and stuff I get from Harbor Freight you need a set of Allen wrenches not necessarily like these little fold ups these are alright sometimes but both this is standard and the um, metric. You need, I didn't bring the whole sets out. These are the big ones. But you need the Allen wrenches, and I call them T's. But I got the whole sets, standard and metric. Plus, you need to set this to torque for star bit. Uh, T again. A good pair of channel locks, preferably two pair. But they come in handy for stuff. The power tools, the power tools. One thing to me is absolutely indispensable, 
and I'm not sure what do you call this. This is an oscillating multifunction power tool. It come from Harbor Freight. It was, I think I got it for around $20 on sale new. The blades are kind of expensive. But this thing, you can take this tool, if you can't get a nut loose or something, you can take that tool, turn it on, and cut that sucker off right flush with the piece you're trying to get it out of. And it'll cut it off and then that bowl will come right out. And that comes in handy a lot. And I need a sip of my coffee. You also need a grinder. And I won't go into detail explaining what all you can do with it. Uh, but if you're going to be microscraping, you're going to run across some instances where you need that grinder. Uh, I have a, another grinder that I put a sander on. And if I can get to a screw head or a nut that won't come loose, I can grind that thing down flat and that bowl will come on out. Um, and then I got this little, uh, this is a cutting cutoff tool they call it. And there again, there's things you can do. Uh, I had instances on a, a, a ceiling pan, I couldn't get to a nut on there so the there was some metal coming up around it, and I just cut the metal off, and I could get to it. But those four tools right there, as far as I'm concerned, is indispensable if you're microscraping. Plus, invest in one of these. And I, I hate these when I was having to use a striker to start them. That's why I got this little self-starter. And uh, that works fine. Sometimes you have to heat up a bolt or a screw or something. <laughs> but for microscraping, I wouldn't attempt to do it if I didn't have this basic set of stuff. There's some other stuff that you can get. Uh, I'm wanting to get a cutoff saw, which is a metal cutoff saw. They're about 90 bucks at Harbor Freight. And that's where I can take, a, if I want to cut some pieces of metal into smaller pieces where it won't pile up so big and everything, I can use that for that. Um, but, yeah, look. Folks, I'm not an expert. Everything I know, I pretty much learned on my own. Um, I've had some help along the way, but for the most part, I'm self-taught. Uh, as a judge once told somebody that was suing me one time, the judge said, he's ornery, he's cantankerous, and he knows it all. And he said, but for the most part, he does know it all about this subject that they was talking about then. Mm -hmm. And um, the suit got dismissed. <laughs> of course... The judge was my friend. I he, <laughs> I rebuilt some upholstered furniture for him and his wife way back, and also the state's attorney or the Commonwealth's attorney. This is in Virginia. The Commonwealth's attorney or state's attorney, prosecuting attorney, what do you want to call it? Uh, <laughs> he was my personal uh, attorney too. They could do that on the side like that, and that that always helped 
But there's one time that sucker didn't cut me no slack. And I got sued a lot of times. When you're in business for 40 years, there's going to be customers that you can't make them happy no matter what. For example, in 1986, that's the year my son died, uh, we rebuilt some furniture for this lady. And she thought we delivered it, got it in her house, and usually when we deliver furniture and stuff back, we, they pay us right then. And, but we got it in the house and she... As I was trying to tell you, that second battery, it was dead. So I'm inside. But the lady decided she wasn't going to pay because she didn't like it. So I said, well, we'll take it back and we'll get it the way you want it. And she said, no, nope, if you couldn't get it right the first time, I don't want you to redo it and I ain't paying. Well, I've been to court enough times on deals like that, that if you don't allow the... A poster to take that back and make it right then you're going to pay for it the way it is and the judge would have laughed at her if I took her to court on it but it just so happened that was the d same day that my 14 year old son was killed in a car accident and that was in 1986 and I was too caught up in that to even think about dealing with with that lady. And I always since then referred to her as a bitch. Uh, but by the time I was, my mental state was right and everything I could have handled it, it was too late. I waited too long. But ever since then, if you contract with me and sign the estimate and everything and read the fine print that was on it. Uh, you will pay on delivery and we always took it in first and collected after we took it in. But ever since that day, uh, I had new estimates and contracts drawn up that it will be paid for before we go in the door with it because once it's in their house she don't she she don't have to let us take it if we want if we want to take it and we can't take it unless she lets us or he whatever the case may be but we had on that contract you will pay or it don't come off the truck till you pay and once and if you don't pay that day we take it back and we start charging storage charges for it. And we'll, after 30 days, we'll advertise it for sale and sell it. And and, and, we, we, and you definitely have to advertise it because if you don't advertise it and you wait 30 days and you sell it, then guess what? You're going to replace that furniture with another brand new set. And the reason I know that it's been there, done that, and um, I didn't advertise it, and the guy was lying through his teeth. But at, at any rate, uh, I done forgot what the heck I was even... What's this video? Oh, I was telling you about the stuff you need to microscrap. And if you don't at least have the minimum stuff there, you're, you're going to have problems. And even with the stuff I got, I have problems. But if you want the microscrap, 
I don't want to hear you whining about it, how hard it is. If you don't have that stuff, if you don't have that stuff, it's going to be hard. And something else I wanted to say. I'm going to have to set the camera down a minute. This is a message from Miss Twiggy. She's one of my subscribers. And I had something I found in the dump for one time, and I thought, oh, I'll send that to Miss Twiggy. Well, that's been a while back, and I just never got around to it. And I sent her an email. I got her name covered up there. But I, there's this um, pack and ship deal, you know, they're not really the post office, they're not really UPS, but they do all that. And they charge you for packing it, but I've been packed this in my own box, my own labels. All I needed to do was ship it, and they do, they print you out postage and everything and ship it there. Well, I got over there, this thing weighs 15 ounces now, not even a pound. And the lady weighs it and writes in the address and all that stuff. And she said, that's going to be almost $14. And that's the cheapest we can do. It'll have to go priority mail. I said, well, I don't want it. She said, that's the only way to ship it. Well... I wanted to tell her to kiss my ass, but I didn't do it. Now, you know, I'm going to be polite. Well, maybe I wasn't polite. I said, ma'am, there is no way that I'm paying you $14 to ship this 15-ounce package that's 6 inches by 6 inches by 6 inch cube to send to Ohio from Florida and, and just parcel post or first class. Well, I'm sorry, that's what it is. I said, well, forget it. So, I'm just showing you this, Miss Twiggy. This, it's packed and ready to go. I'm just going to have to find time to get over to the post office and mail this thing. I done looked it up. I may even go online and print a label. Um, uh, the rate only, there's only $7.45, which that's fair. that but <laughs> $14 kiss my behind good lord anyway Miss Twiggy sorry it ain't gone yet but it's packed and ready to go and you have a good one dear and I guess that's my video for today trying to think if I'm forgetting anything else. But anyhow, I make sure I got her name address covered up. She might not want that broadcasted. I'll be the same. Goodbye. Au revoir. Sayonara. And whatever the others are. I'm going to have to learn that in Russian one of these days. I don't know why.